Okay, hello and welcome to another video. So in this video, we are going to be looking at how to create a, a product mockup, specifically a mockup for um, a food packaging. Okay, so the assets, the resources for this tutorial has already been provided for you in the Google Drive link. I will be sure to include this link in the video description so you can download all of these uh, assets, fonts and illustrations, graphics, whatever you want using that link. So without further ado, let us begin. So to start off um, with this product packaging uh, mockup, uh, the file has already been provided for you. If you look at uh, the assets folder you, that you have downloaded from G Drive, um, you should find put-packaging-mockup.psd. Okay, I have multiple versions since I have been doing multiple iterations of this design. Okay, so open the mockup up, and once you open it in Photoshop, uh, this is what you should be presented with. Okay, um, uh, like I have said before in class. Um, uh, any kind of mockup that you have downloaded for the internet no matter if it's paid or if it's free no matter how expensive it is the structure of the layers is going to be different with each mockup because the authors well, well different mockups are created by different authors and different authors have different um, style of working in photoshop so for this mockup specifically we are going to be looking at this sort of uh, folder structure or layer structure here okay and to start editing the mockup i'm just going to go forward and show you how to edit this mockup here you want to find the layer that has the um that that has labeled with your work or whatever label that is going to indicate that this layer is editable for you okay the reason why we are not going to edit this mockup directly on this uh on this page or this canvas here is because of something that is called smart object okay uh you can look up uh destructive editing workflow and non-destructive editing workflow but for the most part every mockup is going to have something called a smart object so if you open up the smart object folder here, you should see a thumbnail here uh, that has this icon right here, okay, this tiny icon right here. So this icon is what we call a smart object. So smart objects are basically project files that are embedded in your original project file, okay, embedded project files. So if you double click on this mockup here, on this uh, thumbnail here, it's going to open up another layer or another project file for you. And this is where your design usually will go. So to differentiate between uh, smart objects and your original project is the, um, the 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 extension or the format of the file. Okay, uh, smart objects or embedded project files usually will come with a .psv file or .psv extension versus the original project file, which is just a normal .psd. So to identify that you are working with uh, an a smart object or your original project, uh, you identify it with this extension here okay dot psb is for smart objects or embedded project files and dot psd is just your regular project file okay once you have this um uh, like i said before different authors have different ways of working with mockups so for this one specifically you will notice that layer one over here also has this smart object icon so if you double click on it it's going to open up a, uh, a second or yeah a second smart object or a uh, in the grand scheme of things, this is the third layer of uh, you know the, the third layer in the in, in the layer structure. Okay, so everything that you are going to be designing is going to be placed on this specific project here. Okay, refill package mockup .psb is going to be where everything that you are designing, all of your designs, all of your elements, text, everything is going to be sitting on this project file. Uh, the reason why you don't put it here on your work.psb is because of how the mockup is created or structured if you look at this mockup okay um it's not uh oh sorry uh let me just undo that okay if you look at this mockup um the 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 way that this mockup is created if you look if you just look into the perspective of this mockup your design is not going to sit to be sitting uh just straight out flat on this picture here okay so if you have a flat design for example a piece of paper to wrap it 
around this mock-up means that it's going to change the perspective of your original design and for the most part things for example water bottles uh, drinking water cans okay the the the, the carbonated water cans uh, and in some cases um boxes packaging uh, things that are you know that are not flat uh, your design will be wrapped onto these objects for example water bottles so water bottles your design the original design is going to be a flat piece of paper but because it's a water bottle the that paper is going to be wrapped around that bottle to create well to create the the bottle the product itself so in photoshop that is what uh mock-ups are trying to simulate okay the real world pro the real the real thing the real world product so when you have your design your design is going to be flat like this okay just a flat canvas but when it goes onto the mock-up when you put it onto the mock-up it's going to be wrapped on uh, onto this object here and because this is not a flat object it's going to have some kind of perspective look okay to make it look like the real thing so your work.psb here specifically for this mock-up okay i'm just going to explain for this mock-up quickly just to recap everything that has been taught in class um your work.psb is just going to be a flat project file i mean a flat uh, just a flat design of flat canvas here and whatever you are going to see uh whatever is visible on your work.psb is going to be visible on your final mockup but if you look at refill package mockup.psb which you can double click on uh your work.psb here open up refill package mockup here um this design is a little bit uh longer compared to this one which means um everything that you put in here is not going to necessarily be visible here i'm going to show you and demonstrate how that's going to be the case okay because we, because you are working with um, realistic mock-ups that are that have perspectives so things that are going to be wrapped around for example the water bottle or this packaging here some elements will be cropped out when you look at the final mock-up just because your elements or your text or your design is just visible here uh it's just visible on the original project file it's not going to be necessarily visible on your the actual um mock-up here okay so let's just start and get over with the designing process so again uh, from the original mock-up double click on your work.psb to go to your work.psb here and then on layer one here double click to go into refill package mockup.psb and over here let's try to emulate this de uh, this design here okay first things first let's start with the background color i'm going to change the background color to a dark red color you can change the background color by double clicking on color fill one here change it to a dark red color something like that okay and then once you're done you can go ahead and start working on this uh, lighter lighter uh, red color here okay so you have the background color there the, the darker red so create a shape to create this lighter red color so to do that just go to the shape tool the, uh, right click on it and select the ellipse tool and simply create um, an ellipse or a circle it doesn't have to be a perfect circle i recommend that you you make it a little bit distorted okay i don't recommend you to make a perfect circle so that it looks it looks more organic on your packaging okay once you have that circle select uh, created just change the color to a lighter red color so something like this probably is going to work okay or if you want to follow this this color is a little bit orange so you can just change the color to maybe um somewhere over there okay you know play around the color until you find something that you like and then position the uh position the design in this manner here okay just play around with it see if it fits your design and if it looks well on your project file okay for example i want it to be like that so the the curve on this is going to be a little bit slanted that way okay? it's not just going to be a perfect circle okay so when i said when i said that uh whatever you see on this original design file is not going to be reflected on the uh final mockup um to, to view the the result um from the, the the changes that has been made on your final mockup you can just save this by hitting ctrl s go to your work.psb okay and then if you look at this one um 
Even though refill package mockup.psp, this original design file, you have ample space of this darker red color here. In your work.psp, the darker color, the darker red color is actually cropped out. And this is what is going to be displayed on your final mockup. So if you save this, okay, remember to save, control S. After you have saved only, you can change you can see the changes being reflected. So if you look at this, you'll see that the darker red color is just this part here. This is a very small part here compared to the original design, which has a lot of red color here. Okay, so like I said, because we are playing with perspective, things will be cropped out as we design stuff. Okay, so you can readjust it by simply moving. For example, if you want to make the darker red color appear more, then you can just move this circle a little bit up like that. And then you can just test it. So, control S to save, go to your work.psb and save this one, okay, because of how the layer is structured, okay. So, uh, you can see that there's more red color here or more of this darker red color here. And then once you are happy with this design, you can just save it and see that it is reflected on your final mockup, okay. So, this one looks more realistic and the, 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 the because of the perspective um, wrapping thing that's going on on this final mockup things will be cropped out so you have to readjust and keep on um alternating back and forth between the mockup and the design back to the mockup and the design until everything just fits well okay now that you have the um the, the background color here let's now start with um the text layer okay so let's now start with the these text layers here the fonts that i am using uh, should be included in the G Drive link so you can use that okay uh, if you want to follow the fonts exactly so let's start by um, going to the text tool okay select the text tool and then just type in the first word so the first word is original okay and then hit uh, that um, check mark to confirm your your text okay and then create another text layer by selecting the text tool and just clicking anywhere and let's just type in potato okay so that's the second word and then click once more to create a third text layer and name it as chips okay so because of the effects that we are going to be applying on these text later on i recommend you to create three different th three different layers for the text instead of just using one text layer and having all of the all of your text on one single layer okay so create three text layers once you're done you can just um, reposition or realign it to the center of the canvas by just going to this menu up here make sure to align to canvas okay so that it's not grayed out anymore then you can just align it horizontally or vertically to the center like so Okay, let's do that and that and maybe this one. Okay, so once you're done, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the fonts. Okay, the fonts that I'm using for the word original here is a default font that has been installed by default. Uh, the name of the font is Freestyle Script. So F-R-E-E -E, Freestyle Script Regular. Okay, so this is the, the font for the word original. For the word potato here, the font that I used is called Hogfish Demo. You can find um, you can find the font in the G Drive uh, link and install it if you want to follow this. And for the wood chips over here, the font that I use is called um, uh, Rivera. Yeah, okay, Rivera Personal Use Only Regular. Okay, so those are the three fonts that I use in the or in the sample file here. Okay, once you're done, you can just uh, reposition and resize the text so it uh, fits the entire design. So let's make potato here, make it uh, make it the biggest one, because this is the main highlight of the this uh, the main highlight of the of this design here. Okay, um, of your product, okay, the potato chips is going to be the main highlight. So make this one the biggest one. Okay, and then for the word original, okay, let's move it a little bit to the top here. Make it just a little bit bigger, but not uh, as big as the word potato. Maybe somewhere over there. Okay, and then reposition it. And then for the word chips here, uh, I'm just going to leave it, um, maybe make it a little bit smaller. Maybe somewhere over there. Okay, not too big because that is not the main focus of this design here. 
because when your customers look at this product uh, they will read potato and they will instantaneously know that this is a potato chip okay all right so once you're done uh, you can just realign this i mean reposition this make sure there are uh, there's uh, ample space in between these three text layers okay make sure that they are not uh, too close together so maybe something like that works okay because we are going to apply these effects to make the words uh, bulge and bend okay so to make the words bulge and bend let's start with the word original here okay so for the word original here to bend your text select this text layer here okay with this text layer selected go to your text tool and i want you to select this button up here this button called create warped text okay and this will open up this warp text menu here and then the next thing i want you to do is to just experiment with every style that you have under this drop down okay so every style works with this text layer it's going to change and distort your text layer into something that's more interesting and fancy so play around with these settings here and see which one fits you best but for me the option that i used for the word original is this first option here called arch so that will bend your text upwards like that and for the settings here for the most part you just want to leave the horizontal and vertical distortion just leave it at zero percent and i want you to just play around with the bend option or the bend value here okay so if it's bent too much like that it's not going to look pretty so just decrease the amount of bending until it looks it doesn't look too distorted and it looks pretty enough okay something like that maybe and then once you're happy with it just hit okay and let's do the same thing for the word potato so click on the word potato make sure it is selected go to your text tool select the warp text menu to open it up and then select the style that you want for the word potato i used the bulge preset here the bulge setting here to make that word you know inflate the word a little bit so uh control the amount of bending so decrease it a little bit so it's not too bulge or too inflated something like that maybe works okay again you can leave the horizontal and vertical distortion as is okay once you're done hit okay let's do the same thing for the chips select the text i mean yeah select the text layer using the text tool uh, select on this uh, warp text menu here to open it up and then for the style you can change it to whatever you want for this one i use the arch lower uh the arch lower setting or preset okay and you can just control the amount of bending so that it's not too uh, it's not bending too much but it's not bending too little something over 36 or 29 that works okay all right and then hit okay and right now you should have this text effect here applied to all of your text i'm just going to resize this a little bit more make it a little bit bigger okay once you're done uh next thing i want you to do is to just you know reposition your text layer so that they are not too far from each other but not too close that it is going to be you know unreadable something like that maybe works and then right now just test how this looks on your final design so save this Control s to save go to yourwork.psb see how it looks if it's too big then you can go back to this original design and then um, you know decrease the size make it a little bit smaller uh, if it's too small then you can make it bigger so go to yourwork.psb and make sure everything just fits well if you are happy then you can just try to save and see how it looks on your final mockup if this doesn't work for you if this is this might be too big for you you can just decrease the size a little bit keep in mind that later on you are going to be adding some of these graphics here so you don't want to make the text too big that it fills up the entire space okay so i'm going to make my text a little bit smaller because this is obviously a little bit big okay so i'm going to select all three text layers and just uh resize it make it a little bit smaller something like that maybe works okay and reposition it okay and confirm the confirm the operation that you did before uh, and then test it again save here go to your work.psb save here and see how the design is being reflected okay if you are happy with this then okay if you're not then you can go back and keep on readjusting until you get something that you like until you are happy with the design 
Okay, with the text out of the way, next thing we're going to be working on is the graphics here. So let's look at this potato chip um, illustration here. So let's add uh, the potato chip in. To do that, go to file. Okay, on your original design, okay, on your design file. Go to file, place embedded. Okay, and then find the uh, asset folder. And I want you to add in this vector file potato dash chips dash bowl dash pack dot ai okay so double click on it it should open up this smart object window here you don't want to do anything for the most part okay by default just leave everything as is and hit okay that should apply or that should place your illustration or vector file onto photoshop and now what you can do is to just resize it maybe make it a little bit smaller and then reposition it i'm gonna make it put it a little bit down here maybe okay somewhere over there uh, and once you are happy with it you can hit enter or click on this button here to confirm the design okay now just keep on saving and going back to your mockup file to see how the changes are being reflected okay so i'm saving it here go to yourwork.psb okay you'll see that obviously some of the illustration is being cropped out in your work.psb which means in your final mockup if you see if you go ahead and look that cropping does happen in your mockup so if you don't want that cropping to happen you can just resize this to make it a little bit smaller or if you want the cropping to happen for example in this sample file here you'll see that a lot has been cropped out and this is the the style that i am going for then you can go ahead and keep on keep keep that style okay so i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger okay reposition it to the center somewhere over there and then confirm the design confirm the changes save here go to yourwork.psb save here and see how the changes are being reflected in your final design or in the final mockup okay so this is the style that i'm going for if you don't want your illustrations to be cropped out then resize it make it smaller and reposition it until everything appears on your final mockup okay so uh next thing i'm just going to show you quickly how you can apply some style or styling to your um, graphics or illustration for this illustration here the effect that i use is the drop shadow effect if you are not familiar with photoshop um, in illustrator you also have the drop shadow option which just adds a little bit of shadow behind your uh, objects okay? uh, behind your graphics here so that it's separate it looks a little bit separated or it's, it doesn't blend too much with the background color so um, you you add more depth or more more character to your design so to do that uh, to add styles it doesn't matter if it's a drop shadow color overlay you want to add a gradient overlay or you want to add a glow for example select your your layer okay so select this potato chip bowl here go to the layers panel and find the fx button down here so click on the fx button and simply select drop shadow if you want to add glows pattern overlay you can just uh, explore and uh, and play around with all of these options and see what it does to your objects okay but for this one select drop shadow and you can just change the values a little bit to you know to e either make the shadow appear more or less okay so for example over here i'm going to increase the spread a little bit and then decrease the size so that you can see uh, more of the shadow there and then maybe the distance a little bit and then the opacity okay so once you are happy with how the you know just play around this i don't have any any specific setting for your drop shadow just play around until you get something that you like okay once you have something that um, you are happy with just hit okay and that shadow will be applied and you'll see that there, there's actually some kind of shadow going on all right um once you're done next thing we're going to do is we are going to be adding these other two graphics here Okay, so the first one, let's look at uh, how to add this nutritional value over here. So go back to Photoshop, file, place embedded, and make sure to place nutritional-value.ai. Okay, so place it. And then you can position it um, appropriately. And for this one specifically, um, I want you to pay attention to the positioning of the uh, nutritional value here. For example, if I place it over here, for example, and then I save it. Although everything looks perfect here, 
Okay, for example, on your work.psp, like I said, everything you see here will be seen on your final mockup. Even so, uh, it doesn't matter that the placement is correct is correct necessarily. So, for example, if I save this here and I go to the final mockup, you will see that this nutritional value is actually overlapping with the zipper of this packaging here. So, there's no problem with that. If you want, uh, if you want it to be like this, to be this way, then uh, by all means do it. But this is just bad design practice because if people are going to cut or tear open this packaging later on, uh, it's going to tear open uh, your nutritional value here. So that's just bad design. You don't want your your nutritional facts, especially, to be um, torn apart when you, the, the 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 customers or your customers open up or just cut this packaging open okay so what you can do is to just keep on alternating between your design file and then this mockup file and just you know repositioning this until it fits so for example i'm going to put uh, to place this a little bit to the right because i don't want it to overlap with the spine okay if you, if you can see the spine of the packaging here i don't want it to overlap with the spine and i don't want it to overlap with the zipper so a little bit to the right and a little bit down so go to the original design and I'm just going to zoom in. Uh, maybe I can place it a little bit to the right like so. Okay. And then using the arrow keys, I can just move it a little bit down like that. Okay. And then you can save it. Save your work.psb. Okay. Save it two times before it, the changes are being reflected in your final mockup. Okay. So that's how it will look. Uh, like I said, you can do this multiple times be as detailed as you want until you get the result that you are happy with so i'm not really happy with that maybe i'm going to move it a little bit down because it's still overlapping with the spine so a little bit down and to the right okay so save it here save it here on your work.psb before the changes are being reflected okay that looks better a whole lot better but if you want to be more specific or more precise then you can take your time okay so that's how you position stuff in mockups basically okay so i'm just going to do a rough work here just to demonstrate everything okay okay next thing we're going to do is we are going to be adding the logo for the product okay so or the logo for the company of the product okay so going back to your original design file okay or refill package mockup.psb i want you to go ahead and using the ellipse tool okay just create this background over here okay this this white stuff over here use the ellipse tool to create that so go back to photoshop and let's uh, change the fill color to completely white okay and then just create an ellipse like that okay i recommend you that you don't uh, create a perfect circle just create something like that so you can you know create some kind of slanted effect on your design okay once you have created that go to your selection tool move it a little bit rotate a little bit maybe somewhere over there okay okay and then once you're done don't forget to confirm your to confirm the changes you have made and once you are happy with this you can simply go to file place embedded and find product logo.ai so this is going to be your product logo okay again hit ok to place it and now resize and reposition the product logo until it fits inside of this circle here okay and like i said you can just keep on saving and t testing how it looks in your final mockup if you're not happy with the positioning if it's being cropped out too much then you can keep on adjusting okay so if i save this okay see how it looks in your work.psb whatever you are seeing here uh you are going to see in your final mockup because this is not cropped out so everything you are seeing here is going to be reflected in the final mockup so save this if you want the if you want the changes to be reflected and then look at your final mockup so that's how it should look okay. if you're not happy with the positioning for example if you don't want it to be overlapping with the zipper or the spine then you can change uh, you know reposition it around so we're almost done for the most part everything is already done okay everything is already done the last thing that I want to uh, show you is how to create this effect for your text layer here. Okay, if you see the potato here, it looks like the skin of a potato. 
dirty okay so we don't want the text to just be a flat out white text we just want this kind of effect going on okay to do that uh, go back to your original design file okay refill package mockup.psb and over here uh, I want you to go ahead and place so file place embedded and then I want you to place this file over here so 16080132 grunge detail dusty overlay okay so this is the pattern that we're going to use so place that hit ok and it should place it over here okay uh, because right now if you are for example let's just position it on top of the word potato okay okay right now you'll see that the uh the dust effect okay, if you can see uh, closely the dust effect is affecting the entire design but in the sample file it is only cropped into the potato word okay none of the other elements are being affected by this pattern so to do that you can use clipping mask in photoshop so to do that the first thing you need to do is to just reposition this until the entire oh sorry until the entire um the entire pattern here uh, sits on top of the potato so it covers the entire word potato here like so and then confirm your design i mean confirm the placement once you're done i want you to click and drag this layer here on the layers panel and make sure this pattern layer here sits on the very top of the word potato so click and drag okay and pull it down and find the word potato so this is the word potato here and drop it over here okay make sure this design i mean this pattern uh sits on the very uh sits you know side by side or you know uh adjacent to the word potato this is how clipping mask work in photoshop it has to be sitting uh the 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 pattern that you want to crop into the word has to be sitting on top of the word like so okay once your layer structure is like this uh what you can do is you can simply hit alt on your keyboard okay alternate key on your keyboard click uh just just hold the, the key on your keyboard and then move your mouse until you see this symbol appear okay so you see my my cursor my mouse cursor here if i bring the mouse uh at this line okay the line that separates between these two layers here the line between these two layers you'll see this icon appear this icon will only appear if you hold alt on your keyboard okay so if you hold alt that icon will appear and simply click once once you do that you'll see that the word or the pattern is already cropped directly into the word potato and this uh this arrow should appear so this means that the clipping mask effect is working and is operating on just this potato word here okay so you can move it around if you want if you are not happy with how the the pattern the pattern is placed you can just move it around and uh if you still remember okay drop shadow if, uh, that you have applied on this graphic here you can go ahead and change the color of this pattern here so if you look at the sample file the color is actually red instead of black so you can just select the the pattern go to fx panel here okay where you found your drop shadow uh, instead of using drop shadow i want you to use color overlay this will change the color of the pattern entirely and see so it already changes the color so for the color here i'm just going to use um red something like that or maybe something a little bit orange maybe okay and once you're done hit okay and you'll see the color of the pattern on the wood potato here changes okay so once you're done to see the final result you can just save okay make sure to save the original project file and the uh, original design file and save the your the your work.psb okay you have to save two files in order for the changes to be reflected do note that if you do not save the project file it's not going to be reflected in your final mockup you have to save it okay once you're done see how the changes are being reflected all right so that's how you basically create um a, a product packaging mockup in photoshop so if you want to submit this as your best for for your tutorials make sure to not copy this design exactly make sure to um, you know change it around you don't have to use potato you can use cookies chocolate chip cookies if you want whatever kind of food that you want okay you don't even have to use this exact graphics this exact design this exact color change it around um make it your own okay so i think that is all for this video um you have successfully created something that looks like this okay like the 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 sample design here 
So basically that's how you create a product packaging mockup in Adobe Photoshop. So I hope this video helps you in working with this project. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I wish to see you in the next class.